hello everyone this is b mark and today in this video i will show you how you can do pokemon trading and also do online battles using ryubing emulator for now on eden this actually does not work if you try to do a uh, trading or some kind of online battle the game just instantly crashes so for now let's just get started on this video all right so first download the Ryubin canary build so download the latest Ryubin canary build so for me right now this is the latest build and here is the download link for windows now if you don't know how you can play pokemon legend za using the Ryubin emulator i'll put a link of a video in the i button right now and also put a link in the description down below so you can check that out now next because i will trade with myself i'll actually open up two instances of the emulator you can trade also with your friends if you want so I'll open up two instances. So as you can see, I actually have opened up two Ryubing instances. All right, so next on the first instance, I actually have my main profile. So if I go to options and go to user profile, this is currently my main profile where I have my save file. In the other instance, I'll actually create a dummy profile. So in here, I'm going to click on this plus icon. I'll give it a nickname. If you want, you can also select some kind of profile picture. And I will save it. Then I will select that profile. Again, as you can see, I actually have two different profiles in two of the instances. Next, in my dummy profile, I'll actually paste my main save file. So in here, I'll paste my main save file. All right. So next, we have to do some settings. So we're gonna go to option, go to settings next on the network tab make sure this mode is selected to this version next create a proper network passphrase i want to click on here generate random i will copy it and make sure in the other instance of the emulator or with any other person you're using this same network phase next keeps this option unchecked next on the network interface make sure to choose whatever network you're using I'm using an Ethernet connection, so I have chosen that. If you're using Wi-Fi, you can experiment with any of these options. Also, there is another option that says Wi-Fi. Now, on the other instance, in the network passphrase, I'll actually paste the exact same phrase. Make sure the other options are the same as before. Now, this step is completely optional, but I'll use two different control inputs in this emulator instances so in this first instance the input is actually selected as controller as you can see in the next instance i'll actually set it as keyboard so i can properly control these two instances differently all right so let's start the game in both of these instances now Alright, so both of this game has been started up. So let's do a trading just to test out if this is actually working. So I'll do a link trade with a nearby player.
Now on my first instance, I like to click on this nearby player option. It will ask me to enter a link code. Now I know 0001 this code actually works for trading. So I'll use that. And the code is actually showing up on the first emulator. On the next one, I'll join it. Alright, so it's searching. Okay, so it says a trade partner has been found and I can just trade any Pokemon now. So let's just try with some kind of Pokemon. Okay, the screen will be blurred, but you just might be able to tell that the trading actually has been started. Alright, so the trading has been completed. Alright, so next let's evolve a hunter into Gengar. Now in order to do that you have to use a certain link code. So I'll actually put a picture on the screen right now. Now you have to use these link codes when trading in order to evolve certain Pokemons. So yeah, let's just evolve a hunter into Gengar now. So in here I'll put the proper code. And on the next instance as well. Alright, so trade partner has been found. Alright, so now I'll trade my haunter. Alright, so let's do this. And the Haunter is evolving. Again, the screen is blurred, but you might just be able to tell that the Haunter is evolving. And it evolved into Gengar. So let me put it on full screen right now and, and let's check out Gengar right now. 
Okay. And there it is. Now if you want to do some kind of battle, you can just go to the link play. Private battle. Nearby player and just create some kind of room. And then on the other instance, just join that room. Alright, so a room has been found and let's start the battle now. And the battle has been started. So that is how we can do trading or battles in Pokemon Legends ZA using their Ubing emulator. So if you have come this far, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!